Got the old uh, John Deere paint. Green. Now after I get this done, I'm going to take a hook like this right here, pick it up by one of these holes, and I'm just going to put it on the floor, let it dry, and that'll be good enough. I mix a little of, uh, for the first coat, I mix a little bit of thinner with it. Seems to cover better. I just like the look of it. <clears throat> Now if you could see right here, down here, this is all rusted, but that's going to be okay because I'm going to use an inner tube. Uh, this, for this application, about all you can do is <clears throat> use an inner tube because this wheel is, who, who knows how old it is, my guess is it's from the 30s or 40s or the 50s not sure just make sure you cover everything For me personally, I don't care if uh, there's a few spots that I missed. I got something a little bit stronger to pick it up. Okay, I highly recommend getting one of these things to bust the beads on these tires. Now this uh, particular tire was uh, rusted on there. And so this is the bead buster right here. <clears throat> It has different adjustments, uh, four different adjustments you can use. And you, there's a pin, there's a pin right here, and it engages in these slots. So you push this down like this, get your bead, get seat it on your bead and then wedge it into one of these slots wedge that pin right into one of these slots and then push down on your handle now you might have to even get a pipe and push down on it because it's uh, extremely stiff very di difficult to do and then after you do one section then you turn it around to the next one, do the same thing, and bust the bead there. Okay, then after you do that, do it all the way around, then turn your tire over. It's even got ice in it. So, do the same thing now. We're going to start with this bead right here. Uh, the best thing to do is get as close to your machine as you can. And try to get it into <clears throat> to the lowest 
pin that you can. <coughs> And press down. Then after you get that part done, turn it around to the next one. <sighs> press down. Now, after you get it all the way around, the bead is all the way busted. Okay, now get this thing out of the way. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is try to get the tire off of here. Now, you can struggle with uh, a bunch of uh, bars, crowbars, and stuff like that, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, these are my tools of choice. Now, you can get uh, a lot bigger bar. A pry bar and it'll make your job so much easier and I do have one that is pretty big I might get that Okay, this is the uh, second rim that I'm going to restore. Uh, this little ding over here, little dent, that should be okay. But this is the second one, and it requires a little bit of more work because of all this right here. Uh, I'm going to have to refabricate that and then re-drill it. And I'll drill it just like the other one and the metal that I put in there will be probably at least a sixteenth or a little bit more maybe three thirty seconds of an inch thick uh, this piece of sheet metal is from a 1960 Ford Falcon and uh, basically I took this took this claw on this hammer and basically kept working this in there 
and then I'm going to weld this on there and once it's welded on one side then I'm going to keep bending it around this curve to cover this hole here and when you turn it over look at it this way it'll be like this not perfect but it should work okay well here's the uh, finished weld pretty rough I'm going to grind down some of it grind down all of the high spots so we'll do that